Before I get started, I'd like to go ahead and say that this video is sponsored by absolutely no one, meaning the spot is open. If you have the coin, I have the time. Thank you. Almost made you love me. Almost made you cry. Almost made you happy, babe. Didn't I? Hi, you guys, it's me, Tone Classic, and welcome back to my channel. It's been quite some time, and I know what you're thinking. Where the hell have you been? I have a very good excuse, okay? I've been binge eating and watching the Parkers on Netflix, okay? Not the best excuse. I lied. I'm sorry. But all jokes aside, girl, I've been living life, okay? Um, and that's not meant to sound grandiose or, like, anything extravagant. Like, it's not supposed to sound extravagant because it's not. I've literally been, like, working and paying bills. Like, every other American constantly questioning, is this, is this it? Like, girl, I've been at the ledge. I've been at the ledge, honestly. But I've gotten a lot of messages from people who are saying, you know, when are you going to come back to YouTube? Girl, where have you been? No shade. And I just felt good. Like, that's a good feeling to feel like, damn, okay, your content is making a difference in at least one person's life. So here I am. And I guess I just want to give you a little update. Do you guys like, first of all, can we get a round of applause for the new setup? Okay, this is a temporary setup. Is it humor aside and to, you know, give you some more concrete facts about my life and what's been going on? Um, honestly, you guys, I've just... I don't know. I'm just in a transitional period, I guess. Like, I'm trying to figure out um, life. The same as y'all, girl. I'm, the only thing that's separating us is this screen. Honestly, no shade. And a very tight pair of jeans. Yeah, I've just been, like, living life, trying to figure out what it is I want to do. What, you know, how I want to show up in the world. Which is, like, my vibe. Every other three months, I question myself about those exact same things. It's difficult trying to create when you're still figuring everything out. Granted, I've never had anything really figured out and have been creating the entire time through that, but this past year has just been really like an uppercut for me, like in so many different ways. Life has really just, mm, like, you know, one of those good ones. Y'all remember that video where that lady spit on the bus driver, like she spit in his face? And then, uh, first of all, I don't advocate for violence. Neither do I advocate for hating women. I'm just using this as a mere example. She spit on the bus driver's face, girl, and then he got up and like uppercut at her. It was on World Star, like way back when we was in like high school, middle school. Y'all remember that video? I, life is the bus driver and I'm the woman on the bus. Like, girl, like, mm. thankfully, I have lived to tell the tale and I'm still here. I'm still queer and I'm still black, most importantly. Thank you, Father. Mm, this is fabulous. Who is, who purchased the, oh, me. I'm the only person that lives here. Now that I've caught you guys up on my life, somewhat, there is something I want to discuss in this video. And it's basically um, missing someone or something. I was driving around today and I was thinking like, damn, there are really some people that I miss. There are things that I miss, okay? And there are things and people that I know aren't good for me, girl. Things and people that have literally made a complete fool out of me in the past. And I'm sitting here like driving down the street like, damn, I want to call this person. You know what I'm saying? Like a stupid, like an idiot. But it's a natural human response. And I feel like a lot of people don't talk about that. You know, missing something that you know no longer serves you and it's not good for you. But girl, you miss it anyway. And I'm not talking about crack. Like if any of you guys are watching this and you miss crack, I am not, like, li that's a different conversation that I don't think I'm qualified to have. So that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about, like, you know, people, you know? Um, like, maybe a job. A job that you had that was, like, literally toxic, but you miss it sometimes. Not selling crack. Jesus. Um, it's totally not judging you if you do crack, girl. There's space here for everyone. But the point I'm making is that I do have these feelings occasionally where I'm just like, damn, like, I miss this person or I miss this time in my life. Um, knowing good and damn well that... I can never revisit those things. You know what I mean? Like people, for example, like people who have literally like just been abusive, emotionally abusive, toxic in my life. But there are certain things about them that I miss. I'm here to basically say like, if anyone else feels that way, you are valid. Like you're valid. It's normal. I like this whole, oh, it ain't nothing to cut nobody off. Like, you know, that whole like boxing people up and shipping them off like Amazon Prime is that that that. Uh, methodology, methodology, mm, okay, let's sound it out. Hold on. Um, 
the ADD is kicking in. That thought process is very popular right now. And it's all across social media, that kind of rhetoric about like, oh, like I can literally cut people off with no hesitation. You know, it's in music, it's in everything. And it's just not realistic, at least not for my emotional <laughs> Cutting people off sometimes is hard. I've learned to do it as I've gotten older, but it's difficult. And even when I do do it, I cannot erase all the memories and experiences I have of those people and of those events. You know, like it's hard. So I'm here to just say you're valid in feeling like that and feeling like, damn, I miss this person, even though I know this doesn't serve me anymore. And... I see you, sis, because I feel the same way, you know, and when I have those moments, like there are some times I look through my call log and I'm like, damn, I really just want to pick up the phone and call and just, you know, talk like we used to, knowing damn well we can't because times have changed, girl. I'm not the same person and I'm sure they're not either. Like when I look back at situations and people that I've let go in the past, I realized like I've put a lot of work into becoming the person that I am today. Like I've put a lot of work into healing. Like this is not no first aid kit, girl. Like this is like, this is like slow herbal, like ancient Chinese medicine, girl. Like this is, this healing is really intense and it's taken me some time. And just because I miss you and like our inside jokes that no one else will ever understand, I'm not going to compromise my healing just to revisit things in the past that I know I shouldn't be revisiting. Like, I can't help but thinking about them sometimes, but like, I'm not going to go that route, okay? We spent too much time crying in the shower to SZA, wishing that we were normal girls, and I'm just healed. If you, at any point in time, miss someone's presence in your life, and you know that presence, you know that you can't accept that person back because of just the way things have gone, I encourage you to pour all of those feelings and emotions into yourself. Like show that love to yourself. You know what I'm saying? Put that energy into your creativity. Put that energy into your art. Like I am trying my absolute best to do that. Girl, that's why I'm here. That's why I'm back out of this three month hiatus, okay? I wish I could have like came back with some kind of novel update about my life. Like I had a baby or I got my license in like baking, but I'm still a terrible baker and girl, kids. Please. I think that at some point in time during this video, I've said something meaningful. I hope that I have. Please let me know in the comments. And let me know if you guys like this little setup that I'm doing right now. Like this, this feels cute. Like this feels good. This, speaking into this microphone, talking to you, this feels really good right now. And I miss you, girl. I'm back, like Tweet. Y'all know when Tweet said on her album, she said, it's me again. I'm grateful. Yeah, girl, it's me, Tweet, and I'm so grateful to be back, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and roll the outro credits, but before I do, I again want to apologize because, girl, I know I've been gone for a long time, and it's not like, well, it is like me, so, but I'm back. So I want to thank you all, everyone who's decided to watch this, like, Thank you for sticking around with me. Thank you to everyone who subscribed. Thank you to everyone across all platforms who supports my black gayness. And you know what I'm saying, girl? We're going to be back. Like, who knows when you'll see me, girl? Hopefully with a sponsorship in the near future. <laughs> Damn, that's good. Can't keep on